Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and today I've got a very easy project to share with you. I'm going to be creating my own rainbow pinstripe background. I have the Alter New Pinstripe background stamp and I find the easiest way to do this is to use my Misty tool. This way I can actually blend my colours together and not cross contaminate the ink pads. Uh, how I do that is actually I'm adding the colours in rainbow order and I'll list all those colours at my blog but between each colour what I'm doing is cleaning my stamp and just making sure it's nice and dry before I add the next colour. Now I have a mixture of the large and small ink pads. The small ink pads are probably easier for this um, project but I don't have every colour in the small ones so I am making do with the large ink pads as well. But how I get around that is um, I'm just sort of angling the large ink pad so that just the whole lot of the ink um, isn't visible. But you can you can simply um, rub some off if you wanted to and that would probably give you a very similar effect and you could also mask off a certain number of stripes and make it all even and perfect. I wanted mine to be imperfect and have the colours blending when I was stamping but if you wanted to do it that way that would look awesome as well. I am still on my trip at the moment and I've got some video footage at the end of this video here. I've also got some photos that I'm sharing over at my blog so I'll have that linked in the video description below. So this technique you could try with a lot of different style of background stamps it's not just limited to the stripes and it would look great in lots of different patterns. Alright so I did some simple colouring today I wanted to stick with the rainbow theme and I've got the Avery Owl it's the Critter Crew stamp and I've just stamped it out with some Memento Tuxedo black ink and I have stamped it out my Misty because I do like to come in and re-stamp after I've done my colouring and that just crisps up the edges and makes it look all nice and sharp. So I wanted it to look a bit cartoony so I haven't focused on the blending, I haven't made things look real and I think these little fellas look really cute. Alright so I'll leave you with this quick little bit of colouring now and I'll be back really shortly when all of that is done. Right, so I've cut down my panel now, it's just slightly smaller than the front of a top fold card and I'm just working out where I want to put my sentiment. I did actually use the Waffle Flower Crafts, it's a, a border die out of the rainbow, rainbows, it's the die set that goes with the stamp set, it's really um, versatile die, it does like a border cut but I use the inside of it and it was great because now I've got a border of a rainbow that I can use on another project. I've stamped a sentiment from MFTs, anything but the basics, birthday wishes and then I'm going to pop my panel up with some fun foam, just using some score tape to do that and keeping it really simple today. I just popped up my Critter Crew with some pop dots. I did do think I actually added a couple of layers here just to pop it a little bit further off the card and that's my finished card for today. Thanks so much for joining me. If you hold on to the um, till after these photos go through you'll see some of our holiday away. I'll be back real soon hopefully. 
Till then, happy paper crafting. Bye. Wait a minute. The ground's down there somewhere.